Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upload a website to Halsinger. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in this website where I found a guide that explains everything about how you can upload the website on Halsinger. So the first thing that you got to do is pick a reliable web hosting company. Creating and maintaining a website is not something that you should take lightly. It's crucial to pick up a top-notch web host that has all the key features to kickstart your project. Here are several factors that you choose you should consider when choosing a hosting provider. Life support, a good hosting service should have a team of experts who can help you at any time. There is no worse feeling that than running into some issues and having to wait for days to get a response. Control over your web hosting space. The less control you have over your hosting account, the more likely you are to run into trouble when your size grows. Room for growth. Before you choose web hosts, make sure it offers scalable solutions that can provide more power, such as virtual private servers or cloud website hosting. Money back guarantee, nobody likes a bad investment. So make sure to check for a refund policy. Housinger, for example, offers a 30 day money back guarantee for all its hosting plans, giving you peace of mind during the trial period. Choose your website upload method. So you need to choose an upload method so there is the file manager, file transfer protocol, automatic website importer, WordPress migration plugins, upload files to website. Using the file manager, you can log in to Housinger's H panel and navigate to file manager. Once you're in public HTML directory, select the upload files icon from the upper right menu. Select the website's archive file on your computer and upload it to our server. Right click on the uploaded file and extract the archived files to the public HTML folder. You need after that to import your database. If your website uses a database, you'll also need to import it along with your website files. Create a new MySQL database and user Access your newly created database via phpMyAdmin. Use the import section to upload the backup file of your database. Update the MySQL database connection details in its configuration files. Then you just need to check if the website works. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.